Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan111, and it's time for another Spelunky Daily Challenge. And in the interest of occasionally talking about other things, I just want to say that for those of you who enjoy Minecraft and who enjoy Ultra Hardcore, if you have not been watching season, what are they in, season 14? The season that is currently airing, it got off to a little bit of a slow start. But the last couple of episodes, episodes four and five, things have gotten very exciting. It's been very entertaining. And so I would recommend that you check it out if such things as these interest you. And let's see, in order to try to maintain Damsel Doggy's precious hit points, I think we will go ahead and do that to set off the arrow trap. Because it appears... Is this a snake pit or is this just a... Uh, no, we're on 1-1 still, right? <laughs> I don't think you can have a snake pit on 1-1, so we're just in a crazy little area that happens to have... Ooh, climbing gloves! Early climbing gloves. Wow. That makes things really interesting. Uh, when I have climbing gloves, it kind of changes my whole approach to certain areas. This is 1-1, and so there won't be a whole lot going on here, and so I'm not too worried about the fact that I'm going kind of slowly here. Actually, Damsel Doggy, let's try to keep you alive again. Uh, I see you, spider. Oh, crap. <laughs> all right, I just threw my thing over there. Uh, all right, Damsel Doggy, oops. Oh no, and I just whipped him too. Um, all right, let's try to take this out. Okay, <laughs> in order to keep Damsel Doggy alive. Um, are you gonna make it? Yeah, I think you'll be okay. Let's take a look over here. It is the daily challenge, so we don't want to miss any Big veins of easy money. Are they veins of money? Not really. It's not like veins of ore. But I do see some delicious gems. And, alright, I have actually been going slow enough that we're in a little bit of danger running out of time here. And so, let's move a little bit more quickly if we can. Alright, Damsel Doggy's still over here and I do want to get him crap. I forgot about this. Um, yeah, alright, well that was a net positive in terms of ropes, but I did kind of waste one. I played it differently, and the ghost is going to be coming shortly. Let's go ahead and find the exit. All right, and we've got... Oh, oh no, oh no! <laughs> uh, all right, we still have five seconds before the ghost arrives, so if I get over to... I, I forgot about the climbing gloves. I didn't need to use the rope. Um, all right, the ghost will be arriving from the right-hand side now, which is good, because it gives me... Oops, a chance to quickly open that pot and grab this one. We'll carry this forward into the next level. All right, and so after rescuing Damsel Doggy, I'll be back up to four hearts, seven bombs, six ropes, and climbing gloves, climbing gloves, climbing gloves. I'm so unaccustomed to having them this early that I completely forgot about them. Ooh, darkness levels, always a challenge in the daily. This is where we separate the experienced Spelunkers from the from the noobs and wannabes, perhaps? Oh boy! <laughs> Alright, that actually kind of worked out. Let's see. Um, oh, here's another spider. Oh man, the spiders hidden on the ceiling in the darkness levels are a real threat. I do want to take a peek over here as well and make sure that we're not missing anything too amazing. So, very gently. Let's hop over here. Alright, there's a pot over there, but a darkness level is extra challenging, and so I'm going to let one pot go by, and instead focus on keeping moving and staying alive. Uh, that's a pot that I can probably get, though. Hey, and it's got a gem in it, so that is a nice bonus. Uh, we need to drop this off. Oh, boy. Okay, so that was very valuable to drop that down there, even if... Hmm, do I want to spend a bomb to get it back? I think I do. I'm not sure. I think I'll get that back. Yes, it is now in a position... Where I can get it. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, this is still going to be dodgy. Ooh, okay. You can sprint across the little one-wide gaps. And so that is what saves us there. I have climbing gloves. That's the other thing I need to remember, because I keep forgetting. All right, and so I can get this beetle, probably. And they're worth a ton of money, actually. I forgot about that. It's the daily, so let's get as many of those guys as we can. Unfortunately, I just threw that torch pretty far down. All right, a minute 43, I should keep moving. I'm gonna be losing a couple opportunities to get some easy money here, potentially. I heard the dog somewhere. I see a vault. Oh no, oh, oh. 
All right, there's a skeleton coming here, but then there's also an arrow trap. Right there, okay, great. Um, we are running really low on time. I'm gonna assume that this is still the correct way to go to get the exit. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the exit down here. Um, I'm just gonna run to the exit. Oh dear, didn't see that. Um, let's go ahead and pick this up. There is a thing over there. Oh, and I've got climbing gloves, so I can get this actually, because I can just hop up here. And then even though the ghost is coming, I can go and open this up. It's just more ropes, but I'll take it. And I'll carry this forward. Okay. Um, oop, crap. <laughs> climbing gloves, climbing gloves. Okay, we didn't get the damsel. We're down to two hearts after that arrow trap. Um, my hunch is a lot of people were going to struggle on that level. Uh, and so at this point, uh, simply staying alive will probably do us pretty well in relative r rankings on uh, today's daily challenge. And so, all right, I'm kind of wasting some time over here just to get this money. So let's hurry up and get it. I should really be jumping up as I climb up the ladder in order to move a little bit more quickly. And, um, yeah, let's see. We haven't, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, there's Damsel Doggy. I was going to say we haven't found the lock chest with the Eye of Ujad yet. And so obviously we want to keep our eyes out for that. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything down there. There was another place to go down to the left, wasn't there? Yeah, let's take a peek down here, because I see some gems. So let's go down this way. Oh, scorpion. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Um, let's see, I've got five bombs. Let's go back down the other way. Probably would have been quicker not to do that, but well. All right, I do want to be careful of the bat over here. Uh, Damsel Doggy will live if I do this, so that's fine. I guess since I'm here, I'll grab this money. I need to spend a little less time grabbing tiny bits of money and a little bit more time moving quickly through this level and finding all of its secrets. Okay, there is the exit, and here's a shop. Okay, great. Um, and, ooh, this shop. It's got 12 bombs, but I don't think it's worth robbing. So I'm going to not rob it. I'm not even gonna go there and purchase anything. What I am, woo, going to do is just try to see if there's any other good loot right around the exit here. Whoops. Kind of ran right into that skeleton. If it had come to life, that would have been bad news. All right, we got Damsel Doggy to the exit. So we will be up to three hearts again. I'm just going to go ahead and move forward. Because, again, I feel like getting the Ujat Eye, which presumably now is going to be in this level 1-4 and getting to the jungle alive are going to be key. I'm going to go ahead and drop this down and use the whip on the bat. This one has more stuff that I would like, and so... And... Oops, crap! Oh, crap! No, no, no! Oh, jeez. And it's eminently robbable. Oh, I just realized after I did that that there's a Kali altar down there, and so I should have... Um... Whoop! Okay. All right, there's a... Uh, Cobra over there who's spitting venom, so let's not get hit by that. Uh, I should have kept, kept the shopkeeper's body, um, but I failed to do that. Will that explode that? Yes, it will. Okay, so that's fascinating. Let's do that as well. That one's not going to explode. Um, all right, there's a Kali altar down here. I'm going to go ahead and just drop this down. That also sets off a trap, which is great. Um, and we'll try to use the Matic a little bit later in the level to get us a little bit more money. Um, and there's Damsel Doggy. Oh, man. Uh, I think it's always correct to sacrifice no matter what your level of hearts is. Uh, because going after the Kali Cup, at this point, I'm sufficiently uh, good enough as a player that I think the long-term strategy is the right one for me. Can I drop that on you? Yes, I can. Okay, so Damsel Doggy, come with us. Oops. There we go. You're going to go for a magical journey. <whistles> Your magical journey did not last that long, but <laughs> I'm sure it was very magical. Okay. Um, I want to take a quick peek over here. Uh, it looks like there could be some money over here in this thing. Yep, let's grab that. And how am I doing on time? 145. All right, I need to keep moving. There's going to be a shopkeeper at the exit. No, because I didn't rob the shop earlier. Okay, and there's the, there's the things I need. Okay, so let's do this. Um, let's use the Matic 
just to break an easy way down here. We have to find a gem. We'll be able- oh! Dear, I just left the, um, I think I have enough ropes. Yeah, I've got 12 ropes, not a problem. Um, and we've got the mattock here. Crap. So we can break this open. <laughs> Alright. Extremely inelegant. Inelegant is a word that I've been using a lot lately. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I hate scorpions so much. Um, let's go get my shotgun and get the heck out of here and just be happy that we're still alive. Yuck. All right, and there were more gems I could have gotten. All right, yeah, we just, we just need to stay alive. Basically, barring, well, it wouldn't take an entire miracle per se. I see the bat. I do have 17 bombs. I should use more bombs. Yeah, and a Kali altar. Ooh, that's a good Kali altar too. Okay, we're going down there. All right, um, this bat, uh, I, th I feel more comfortable whipping him, so I'm gonna do that. And let's see. Uh, I need to whip this piranha plant as well, because then I will sacrifice it on the altar. <laughs> but I also don't want to get eaten by it. <laughs> there we go. Great. All right, frog, you just need to die. There's a monkey up there. We need to make more sacrifices. We're gonna continue to take advantage of the climbing gloves. Um, let's avoid that for the moment. If I can get one more sacrifice, I think I will get the Kali's Cup and then I'll be able to start accumulating blood. And then we actually have a shot of going somewhere in this. Uh, this bat is making me nervous. So I'm actually gonna do this. That'll work. Give me some jumpy boots. Please. Hey, he gave me the jumpy boots. Hooray. All right, and you can explode right there. You'll give me some gems. Actually, uh, given the danger that piranha as well as everything else poses to me right now, I'm gonna go ahead and blow that up for some gems. All right, the piranha is dead. Still need something else to sacrifice, uh, and we're running low on time, so I'm gonna start bombing my way down. I heard damsel doggy down and right. Uh, I have a lot of vertical mobility now with a combination of the jumpy boots and the climbing gloves. All right, uh, jump back down. There you go. Perfect. Uh, where's Damsel's doggy? I hear him. I see him. I have plenty of bombs. Oh, whoa! <laughs> I do not have paste. In case anyone was wondering if Brian had paste, the answer is no. Um, I see. All right, yeah, he's angry already. Let's do... Oh, man, I wish I had some paste. All right, let's do that. Oh, boy, am I too high? Oh! No, no, no. All right. Please hit him, please hit him, please hit him. Crap. Ah, uh, please hit him, please hit him, please hit him. Crap. Damsel doggy, no! <laughs> How is he still alive? Oh, man. There's a lot of bombs down there. There we go. All right. And so- oh, crap, there's another one. Oh, man. Oh, boy! Go! Oh, and there's another shopkeeper over here, too. Alright, uh... Oh, no! <laughs> the worst part about this is, according to my own logic, I think I'm gonna be doing better than a lot of people. 70,000. Uh, let's see how that went. Oh, no, I was totally wrong. Jason Nihon Tiger! Brian, wow, that's a great run. Uh, 3-4. Um, that's fantastic for you. And Jason did well as well. Um, Alex and Fairy Juice both died on the second level. I guess to a shopkeeper? Or I'm not sure what. But there were the spikes that we almost fell on. That's right, that was the darkness level, wasn't it? Um, all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Um... Yeah, now that I see other people's scores, I don't feel nearly as good as I did when I was playing that. Um, that was kind of a crazy daily challenge. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. We need to look at yesterday. Um, I don't remember what happened yesterday. A lot of people had really good runs. Fedrin, nice work. Man, and some really big scores. All right. It looks like I need to step up my game. Like... I've been improving, but uh, my daily challenges have not turned out great the last few days, so I got some work to do. All right, bye-bye.